Welcome back to Thursday Night Market. I'm your co-host, Mick Collins, and I'm here this week with Jennifer Singer. How you doing? Great. How are you doing? I've known Jennifer for a while. Jennifer is with the Friendship Club, and I know what they do, but I'm going to let Jennifer tell you. Jennifer, tell the people what the Friendship Club does. All right. Well, the Friendship Club is a local nonprofit organization. We engage, educate, and empower girls at risk. Um, we started the organization in 1995, so we've been working here in our community for over 20 years now. And how did you get involved? Um, I was asked to be involved by uh, Mary Collier, who founded the Friendship Club, and I was coming home for some summers, and it sounded like good work. And the more I got engaged with our young women in our community, the more I knew that this was uh, what I was here to do. And so when I finished up college, I moved back um, so that we could start the Friendship Club as a full-time, full-year round program. That's great. And how long have you been involved? Um, since 1995, so 21 years. 21 years. That's amazing. Tell us kind of some of the things that you've seen over those 21 years that kind of get you up in the morning. Yeah. Well, I mean, the whole point of the Friendship Club is to provide girls a safe, positive uh, place for them to grow into healthy young women. And so... Um, the more years I have in this organization, the more years I see girls grow up and turn into young women and have fabulous jobs and have fabulous lives and um, are contributing back to our community. So I think uh, really seeing those full circle moments for me now, being here for so long, um, has made it all worthwhile. That's pretty awesome. And, and what are, what, is, what are some things coming up for the Friendship Club that well, you want to let people know about? Well, right now we're in our um, huge summer program. So we not only have an academic year program um, with after-school meetings, field trips, and activities and mentoring, but also throughout the summer we have five summer camps. We are putting on 18 different activities and clinics throughout the summer. So we're, our goal is to keep our girls healthy and active all year long. Um, from a fundraising perspective because that is um, how we make our dollars and how we make everything work here and our generous our community has been very generous in that so the friendship 100 comes up in September that is a really fun community event going into our gosh I think 15th or 16th year with that event um, so that comes up September 19th so we're uh, in the midst of recruiting race car drivers and miniature golf tournament captains, um, and that all takes place at the 49er Fun Park on September 19th. So that's a really fun way for people to come and learn a little bit about the organization and have a lot of fun, um, and a great place for businesses to sponsor the event because there's um, almost 300 people come down to that event and have dinner with us, so it's a lot of fun. And, and if you have not been to that event, you want to check it out. Um, I'm being told we have to take a break. Can you stick okay. around? Uh, absolutely. We'll be right back with more from Jennifer Singer of the Friendship Club. With nearly 30 years of proudly serving our community, Auburn Toyota is expanding to offer more new Toyota inventory than ever before. Chances are we have the exact Toyota model you want ready for you to drive home today. With many years of combined sales experience and hundreds of new Toyota cars, trucks, 4x4s, and SUVs, now is the perfect time to buy at Auburn Toyota. Come see why for generations Foothill Toyota buyers buy from Auburn Toyota, which is why we like to say Auburn Toyota is the place where the customers come back. Uh, welcome back to Thursday Night Market. I'm joined again uh, by Jennifer Singer of the Friendship Club. Um, you were talking about previously uh, fundraising. Mm -hmm and how it's, it's kind of a non-stop thing for a nonprofit, yeah. um, and the community's been real supportive. Um, what are some ways that the average person out there can get involved beyond, beyond donating? Absolutely, well, we, we have a huge volunteer force. So we have a, a wonderful professional staff that makes sure that we show up every day to organize the programs um, and get the girls going, but it takes a huge amount of volunteers to also pull this off. We have volunteers who are picking up kids every day from after school, um, making us lunches, going on chaperone, uh, serving as chaperones on field trips, coming in as guest speakers and workshop leaders. So really there's tons of ways for people to get involved in, in helping our girls. It's really about connecting them to community and helping them feel a part of our community. And so um, really volunteering is a wonderful way to get involved. Um, 
And then, of course, donating is important to us. Um, we raise every dollar that we have to spend on our programs, and all of those dollars get spent right here back in Nevada County. Um, and so we have many generous businesses and individuals who have stepped up and made significant contributions to the Friendship Club. Um, so if you're interested in learning more, I urge you to go to our website, which I know will be up here later, but friendshipclub.org gives you lots of um, ways to participate, ways to be involved, donations online. And then I'd love to you know, welcome you down to the club and give you a tour of what we're up to and show you how your dollars are spent firsthand. So I'd like to ask you another question. This kind of just occurred to me. Mm -hmm. um, you've been doing this for 21 years. The Friendship right. Club has been um, impacting young girls now for 21 years. Right. And you start at about what age? We start as the girls are entering the sixth grade. So girls are typically 10 or 11 years old when we meet them. Okay. Yeah. So um, beyond that, um, how can other folks get involved? Well, another awesome way, Mick, is for businesses especially to get involved with Pay It Forward Processing. It's a wonderful opportunity for businesses to hopefully get a better deal with their processing and almost always you can offer a better deal. And then um, community organizations, you can choose a community organization to support. We're proud to be one of them. We're not the only one in town. Um, but I think that's really a unique way for businesses to get involved and allows them to participate. Thank you for bringing that up. I just want to say that, kind of sum it up, businesses can save money with Pay It Forward processing and help us donate to organizations like the Friendship Club. I want to point out businesses downtown like Stuky Jewelers, Packard Carpet, and our own Touchdown Productions um, do help us pay it forward. And two new additions lately are What's Up Coffee and Rolly's Auto Body. And with that, Jennifer, I want to say thank you again for thank joining you. us. Go to www.friendshipclub.org to see how you can get involved. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to, it's a special treat here. Just on the street here on Mill Street is Dana Milner, co-owner of 151 Union Square, <laughs> which we're going to be going to later for the after party. How are you enjoying the market, Dana? Oh, it's great. It's, it, great. it's, it's kind of weird seeing you outside. I know, I don't get a chance to go outside very <laughs> I often. I know, I didn't recognize you. I, I recognize you coming out yeah, from behind yeah, the bar. Yeah, and I have my downtown no. Grass Valley shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we're going to tell them again at the end of the show, but we want to say right now, make sure after Thursday Night Market, you go down to 151 Union Square for the after party. Live music, great wine, great beer. And we'll great see you there, beer. right? And great food as well. And great, right. what was those cheap cheese puffs? We had those the other night. Uh, those are our new Pepper Jack cheese those puffs. Those were really yeah. good. Pepper Jack cheese yeah. puffs. They were awesome. really, really, really My good. My kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah. We're going to 151 Union Square for the after party, hosted by yeah. Dana Michelle well, Milner. Great yeah. wine, <laughs> great craft beer, awesome food, and live music every night. Thursday Night Market, 151 Union Square. Join us. We're going there right now. See, see ya. We'll see you in a Stay few. Stay tuned next week. Touchdownproductions.com. Bye.